Welcome to Math Movies with Miss Foyer Beck and Miss Baluti. Today we'll be learning how to multiply decimals by whole numbers using the strategy thinking about decimal places. With this strategy, you multiply like they are whole numbers, then you count how many decimal places are in the factors and put that many decimal places in the product. At the end, you always want to think, does my answer make sense? Let's remember that the factors are the numbers that you are multiplying together, and the product is the answer you get when you multiply those factors. The three-toed sloth travels at 15 hundredth miles per hour. If it traveled consistently for eight hours, how far would it go? So this problem is finding out eight groups of 15 hundredths. I'm using the strategy, so I'm going to think about these as whole numbers, which means I'm going to multiply 15 times 8. I'm going to use partial products. 10 times 8 is 80, and 5 times 8 is 40. If I add those two products together, I get 120. But right now my answer is 120 miles. That does not make sense because I'm multiplying 8 by a number that's less than a whole. So I need to account for the decimal places. There are two decimal places in my factors. So I need to take this decimal point and move it over to the left two places, which gives me 1 and 20 hundredths. Now, I need to ask myself if that makes sense. To me, it does, because if this problem were 8 times 1 tenth, I would have 8 tenths, and my answer needs to be a little bit more than that. So. My answer is that the three-toed sloth would go one and twenty hundredth miles. Steve is training for a race. He runs 4.6 miles each day for five days. How many miles does Steve run in five days? So this problem is asking me to find five groups of four and six tenths miles equals blank. Again, my strategy is going to be to multiply as if these are whole numbers. So for now, I'm going to ignore the decimal point, and I'm going to multiply 46 times 5. I'm going to use the algorithm. 6 times 5 is 30. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. Now, right now, my answer is 230. That does not make sense because I'm multiplying 5 times 4 and 6 tenths, so I need to account for the decimal places. There is one decimal place in my factor, which means in my answer, I need to move this decimal over to the left one place, giving me an answer of 23 miles. Now I need to ask myself, does this make sense? It does, because if I round five, 4 and 6 tenths up, it's going to become 5, and 5 times 5 is 25, so I know my answer needs to be a little bit less than that. My final answer is that Steve runs 23 miles in five days. Jane feeds her fish 375,000 ounces of fish food a day. How many ounces of fish food does her fish eat after seven days? So this problem is seven groups of 375 thousands. Again, I'm thinking about these as whole numbers, so my problem is really going to be to multiply 375 times 7. I'm going to use the algorithm. 5 times 7 is 35, 7 times 7 is 49, plus 3 is 52, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 5 is 26. Now right now my answer is 2625, which is way too big. I need to go back to the factors and I see that there are three places, decimal places. So in my answer, I need to go to the left three decimal places, giving me a final answer of two and 625 thousandths. Now I'm going to ask myself, does this make sense? To me it does because 375 thousandths is not quite one half, but if this problem were seven times one half, I would get three and a half and so my answer needs to be a bit less than that, and 2 and 625 thousandths would fit that. That means that my final answer is 2 and 625 thousandth ounces 
of fish food. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot about multiplying decimals times whole numbers by thinking about the decimal places.